Hey there, I'm Professional Psychic Kara Murray, and this is a reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the week of February 6th through the 12th, 2023. I've already recorded my Psyched Up Sundays video where I talk about the astrological transits for the week, or what I like to call the astro weather forecast. That's for all signs. I've got the link below, so make sure you check that out. I've drawn three cards for you this week. Leo, I have a recent past card, which is the projections card. So this card shows that someone's projecting something onto you or that you're the one projecting onto another person. Now, when someone has not done their inner work, it is often common that they will project their unresolved BS onto the people closest to them and call them out for the very thing that they're doing. It can be crazy making. When you're in a posture of having to defend yourself, defend yourself against someone else's false accusations, they're projecting onto you. The best thing is to drop your end of the rope and not try to get in that, try to get them to see. Because someone who can't even see their own stuff cannot see you clearly either. Now this may be you the one that's doing it. Maybe you're the one that hasn't done enough work and you're doing it to the other person. There's another scenario which is that actually you can see the person's highest potential. Like you can see their Buddha nature, their Christ self, their divine self, their best self. You can tap into that. But that's not what they're presenting. That's not what you're interacting with on a daily basis. But you keep seeing and having hopes for, oh, but that they can, they, there's a good person in there. That's another scenario when you could put yourself in the line of fire with someone who's not there and they're going to be acting from a lower life condition. So this is the, some of the scenarios that could have gone down for you recently, Leos. The card that's representing you right now is the Abundance card. This guy has everything he needs. He's got all the money he needs, all the material possessions. He's got rainbows flowing into his head. He's, he's good. So this is indicating that you have all that you need right now. Um, so it's important to get into an attitude of gratitude, right? Just appreciate. What can you appreciate? Your health, the money you have in the bank, your job, your friends, your family, Fill in the blank of what you can be grateful for because it feels like you've got an abundance of things that you could be grateful for. The card that's representing where you're headed this week. Now, anything I set into the future is not set in concrete, so you can shift this. It doesn't have to be your scenario. But I've called I pulled the miser card. This card represents fear, particularly fear around money and finances when you're like, Ugh, gotta pay my taxes, or I don't have enough for that, or uh. I don't want to spend that on that. Like you can get in a Grinched place. Even if you, I've seen this card show up for clients that are millionaires. Like you still get, uh, just because you go into a place of fear, you are generating the very thing you do not want to happen. And remember that fear is false evidence appearing real. So if you find yourself getting into a stressed, anxious, contracted place this week, the first thing to do as soon as you notice it, is to take a deep breath or two or three. Whether you're driving a car, you're in a conversation with someone, you can always stop and just start breathing deeply in the middle of a conversation, wherever, right? Because if you can drop open, it shifts that contracted state. And then you'll manifest, you'll create out of a place of Okay, I have everything I need, right? So it's just a note. You may have already been doing this work, but if something comes up this week that makes you fearful, whether that's in your personal life, you could be fearful about something that happens in the world. You know, mass shootings, that kind of thing can make everybody kind of, uh, right? So it's important to drop open and then tap into your intu intuition. What do I feel guided to do about this? And just sit with that. If you don't get a direct answer, just keep throwing that up. What do I feel guided to do about this? What is my guidance telling me to do about this? What is my intuition guiding me to do here? You might need to journal about it, talk it over with a friend. But if you turn it over, you'll get the insight into how to shift the energy. But like I said, the first step is to breathe deeply and clear out the stress. All right. Have a good week.